Hey guys, welcome to another lunch overview. Today I'm gonna to try a steak and shake. I haven't been here in five years. I've had some of their frozen meals, which by the way, I don't see much anymore. I don't think I've seen those in ages, but uh, I haven't been to the actual restaurant in five years. So I'm gonna try um, a Western burger of some kind, Western bacon burger, and um, some onion rings. And I might, if, it, if the fancy strikes me, I might get a milkshake or something. But anyway, I'll uh, take you through drive through with me. Okay, pull out uh, and go through drive through Sorry, there's a little bit of rattling in this thing. I don't know why, it's, it's pretty tight enough. Welcome to Steak and Shake, Georgetown, Kentucky. We'll be with you one moment. Yep, you're good. Hot and fresh. Yep, Thank you're fine. You. Welcome to Steak and Shake, we'll have your order in just a moment. Okay. Hey, Kevin, you ready? Um, yeah, can I have a number six? Um, Western barbecue bacon burger, uh, the meal. Okay, what you like to drink? Um, a diet, uh, a Coke Zero. Coke Zero or anything else? Yeah, can I have onion rings instead of fries? I'm sorry, we don't have onion rings at this moment. Okay, then I'll just take the fries, that's fine. All right, anything else? Um, yeah, give me a, um, a Snickers, a small Snickers, uh, no. Small, the kid size? No, not that small. Uh, regular? Uh, yeah, regular, and give me a cotton candy milkshake. The cotton candy milkshakes? Yeah. So you don't want the in no, there. not the Snickers, okay. just the cotton candy. No, that's it. All right. Thirty-five. Thank you. Well, I was gonna try a um, onion rings, but they didn't have them. So that was weird. It was like one person answered, then somebody else talked, and then somebody else talked. Mm, kind of strange. How you doing? Who's that common candy milkshake? Thank you. No, not yet. Uh, any ketchup in the bag? Um, just ketchup. All right, we'll have that right up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One guy asked me if I wanted ketchup, but somebody else handed me the meal. So my guess is I probably didn't get ketchup, but that's okay. I don't, I don't really care. I'll, um, I'll eat it with that ketchup. There's a whole parking lot in front of me. It's, uh, Coles parking lot and it doesn't look like Coles is open anymore it's like it's weird it's like the whole parking lot's abandoned uh, empty but there's cars on the side uh, maybe maybe I'm on the side and the front has got people there well, it's hard to say I, I don't come in this area very often I'm in a different town completely I had a meeting um, yeah it just looks a little different around here I haven't been I don't think I've ever been over here anyway I'll be right back Okay, by the way, they did give me ketchup. Um, here is the cotton candy milkshake. It looks wonderful. I like the blue color. Um, and they give you a little cherry on top and some whipped cream. It looks really cool. Um, there's the fries. And there's the burger. It has like raw onions and it has like a, like a grilled or fried onions. And it has barbecue sauce and the burger. And I'm assuming there's some cheese down there somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, I'll uh, turn around. I'll tell you how much everything costs. Okay, so I did get the meal for this with the fries the burger and the drink. Um, and so I got um, da -da 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 -da, the number six is what it was. The Western barbecue combo. It's a Western barbecue bur double burger. Uh, I forgot I got a double. Um, small fry and a regular Coke Zero. That was $9.49. I got the uh, regular cotton candy milkshake. You could have got a kid size, which I think that's nice that they offered, but mine's just the regular size for $4.99 for the milkshake. So my total before tax was fourteen forty eight, and of course you gotta add your local um, sales tax or whatever to this. And like I said, they did give me the ketchup, which I like the dipping packages of ketchup. I like those kind of ketchup so much better than than the other ones. The the packages you have to open and squeeze out. I hate those things. So I'm gonna try these these fries. I have to and the cheese. Uh, there is cheese on that burger, by the way. I, I'm kind of looked in the back. You can see it. Um, the fries are are warm, but they're not like super super hot.
but you know, that's going to be, um, the location you go to the time of day, the, the heat of fries always dependent on, um, many factors, not just the, this restaurant. They're good fries. Um, they're about the size of like the McDonald's fries. They're really, they're really small, like shoestring fries. They're really the tiny ones. Good amount of salt. They're warm enough. Like I said, they're, they're plenty warm enough. They're just not really hot, like piping hot. They're good. They remind me a lot of a McDonald's fry. I don't think they're quite as I won't say it's good. The flavor's just different. The flavor's different in these than they would be a McDonald's fry. These are, they're good, but they're, they don't have that McDonald's flavor. You know, McDonald's has a very specific flavor. Um, this doesn't quite have that. These are more just a, a fried potato flavor. I like them though. There's nothing wrong with them at all. They have a good texture to them. They're good and crispy. Um, like I said, they're warm, they have a good flavor. I don't have anything to complain about that, that the fries at all. So let me see if I can tuck into this burger because it is got onions like falling off of it, literally. There we go. And you can see the cheese is between the burger patties. Eh, I'm dropping onions. I like fried onions too. There you go, you can see the cheese right there. I tell you what, you really get um, the barbecue flavor in that. It's got, it's got a really strong barbecue, and you can taste the bacon as well. And I get the fried onions and the raw onions. Honestly, I get, I get all the flavors there, and you get the good um, beefy uh, steak burger flavor. That, that's nice. I'm trying to make it, not make a complete mess. It's a good burger. I haven't had, like I said, I haven't. The last time I reviewed the Steak and Shake was um, was in Lexington, and it was like five years ago. That's literally probably the last time I actually ate at Steak and Shake. I don't remember eating Steak and Shake since then. And um, it's a good burger. If you're looking for a good burger to um, to eat uh, for lunch, then then I think it's a good restaurant. I, it's not it's not a place I go regularly. It really isn't. Um, but it's it's definitely got a good burger, got good flavors to it. The textures are good. They're good and hot. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of a um, a sear on the burger, which I like. It's not just a, it's almost like it's microwave sometimes. Not these. I'm saying some restaurants are like they're almost microwaved. These actually have a little bit of a, a cook on them. I like that. And I really like the um, the onions and the barbecue. They fit perfect with it. I mean, it really it really sets off the flavor of the burger itself. The barbecue and the onions, it really, really goes well. And I'm actually, even though it's a lot of food, I'm actually glad I got a double, even though I was just gonna get a single. Um, the double will fill you up for sure. And I think they even had like triple and stuff. I don't think I could eat a triple. I mean, I could, but I would be so full, I'd be sick. <laughs> Literally. Now this, let me just say, that is a milkshake straw. Look how big that thing is. I can see through it. Um, that's a, that's the kind of straw you want to drink your milkshakes with. That's for sure. <laughs> the lid came off on that thing. So I'm going to drop it on the floor. I grabbed it by the lid and it hooked on my cup holder. <laughs> so that was probably a face because I thought I'd spill that milkshake everywhere. So this makes sense. So I was talking to Tammy about going here and uh, I said, you know, they've got all these, she was re reading off the milkshake flavors and there was like Reese's and Reese's cup and all kinds of different flavors. And it's like, how do you suck all that stuff up through a straw? Well, that's how you do it. You get a really fat straw, that's how. So the cotton candy, I was gonna get the Snickers and then the cotton candy was like 
I like a good sweet cotton candy, so let's try that out. And it's blue all the way through. Let's see if it had any pink in it. No, it's just blue. That does remind you a lot of cotton candy. I mean, it does taste like cotton candy. Well, I get that they're thick, but they're not so thick that you can't drink it. So, Culver's milkshakes, for example, sometimes they're so thick, um, you almost get an aneurysm trying to, to drink it through the straw because it's so, so thick. You almost need to, I, I literally drink most of their milkshakes with a spoon for the start of it until they start melting. And that is so cold, it's going to make your head explode. Um, I like the cotton candy. I think I would have liked the Snickers or all that stuff just as good, but I do, I really do like the cotton candy flavor. That's nice. So, I'm going to give probably, well, the fries, the fries are a solid four. I do think they're good fries. They're not the best fries ever, but they're good. Um, especially if you can get them hot. The burger, I like the burger. I think the burger, you really couldn't have done much else to it, except maybe, um, no, I really, I wouldn't do anything else to it. I think it's perfect the way it is. I'm going to give it a five out of five. Uh, so fries are four, the burger is a five out of five, and this milkshake, I'm probably going to give it like a four, probably a four out of five, because I do like it. The texture and everything is really good, but I wish the cotton candy flavor is a little bit stronger. The good thing about Steak and Shake is they've got so many different milkshake flavors that if you're interested in anything, I mean, surely you, you're interested in something. So if you're wanting a milkshake, they've probably got something that'll that'll appeal to you. So um, yeah, I think I think it's really good. You know what? I'm gonna say it's a four and a half out of five. I'm gonna bump it up a half a point because I do really, really like it. And I'm gonna sit here and drink it on the way home. Um, like I said, I had a meeting. I'm in Georgetown, Kentucky. Um, and I had a meeting I had to come to. So. I figured I would stop on the way home and get something, and I, this is what I stopped and got. Um, really good food. I think it's definitely worth trying out. If you've never eaten a Steak and Shake, um, you should try one out. It's really, really good food. I think it's good quality. It's a little expensive, but, um, but for the quality you're getting, I think it's worth it. So, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.